best is an author. What's an author, Craig? It's like a, a bloggy person without a computer. <laughs> she, uh, she wrote this book. It's a bestseller called uh, I Was Told There'd Be Cake. And uh, how did you get this number? That's not the name. Oh, maybe that's something she said to me. <laughs> Please welcome Sloan Crossley, everybody. Sloan Crossley. You look nice. I like that dress. Thank you. You lead with such a, a flattering foot. Well, I, I'm a creepy, pervy guy. <laughs> oh, well, I'm European. We Thank won you. the Nobel Peace Prize this year, you know. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> all of us. We all get to share in it. We all get it for a day. It's like Powerball. <laughs> People, you know, they chip into Powerball oh. and like it's like an office pool. Except did it's you all win? Zero. Did you win? No, I'm not European, nor did I enter the Powerball contest. <laughs> I've won nothing. <laughs> no, you've won the right to call yourself an author. That's true. I was wondering where the other book was, and then it was pointed out to me, in fact, that Jeff has the other copy of your book. Are you enjoy it? <laughs> you what? <laughs> it should be, um... She, can you read that? Shouldn't it be on an e-reader? For... How dare you. Okay. <laughs> We go back. He's yeah. so attitude. Oh, so much attitude. I, I can't tell you. There are certain <laughs> times during the lunar cycle where he just goes oh, crazy. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's oil. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> so how have you been? What have you been up to? Writing books, I take it, huh? Writing books, taking names. Do you take people's names and then no. use them in books later on? That's illegal. <laughs> It's, I don't think it's illegal, but I do. I always change them to something that uh, is, is somewhat related to how I think of the original person. Did you ever, ever anyone come up to you and say, wait, that's me in that book, that jerk, that, that's me, isn't no, it? No, it's the reverse, actually. Well, yes, th yes, that. <laughs> I see, so what you said was, mm, what you said is wrong, Craig. Actually, when I think about it, it was right, but I'm more comfortable saying you're I'm wrong. So I accusing you of things you right. didn't do. It's right. my space of, of comfort. Um, no, but it, what's more interesting to me, at least, is when people will read about themselves. I don't write too much. I write more about myself. But they'll read about themselves and um, think, who was that? That's insane. I'm yeah. like, oh What kind gosh. of crazy creep? <laughs> That's you. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know wait, how to wait, tell Wait, wait, wait. It's, you know, we can... I'm not in any of those books. It's the copy Jeff has. Really? Yeah. No. It's the copy that's hand-inscribed. You, you can only read it if you're a robot. Uh, kiss my ass. <laughs> man! Jeff, you're I'm meant to be supportive of I the know. guests. This is not good. No, I was just... talking to you, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. How have you been otherwise? Like have you been on your travels? Have you been off and around? I've been off and around. Um, I've been, um, honestly, I'm still like kind of like enamored that, that Kristen Stewart was here. It's kind of exciting. I, weird that was I, I too creepy? Them. I had to apologize. I was, no, I don't think I've, so. I actually, I like the Twilight movies. They're good. I do. I haven't seen it. They're, 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 they're good. I, I, uh, good. Well, yeah. I, I, well, I was never, I was, um, I grew up on like Anne Rice, and so they're totally different. I mean, that, I mean, they kind of make Anne Rice look like Dickens, but they're, you know, they're good. <laughs> Are you trying to undo all the Crikey. I've been putting together <laughs> It's I've been working hard like the Twihards are just I'm thinking about, about the putting books. their pitchforks down and leaving me alone. <laughs> I, this is the thing, is I'm trying to distract you. I'm trying to take the heat off of you via Jeff and myself. They can, they can come after me. No, no, you don't, you don't, you don't want the, 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 the kids that love the vampire movies after you. You don't. Trust me. You don't want that. They'll make your life a living hell. I can't tell you how many times my studio has been TP'd. The TP. Yeah. <laughs> Vampires need toilet paper, though. I don't know. No, vampires. <laughs> no, they, I think they poop. <laughs> do you, the lesser-known the lesser children's book, do vampires poop? Uh, everybody poops, <laughs> including vampires. That was the secret. Little asterisk? No, they, um... Well, do, this is a question I've always wondered. Do zombies poop? Because they eat human brains, so clearly they, they poop. They, um, this is, I mean, this is getting really medical. I don't know if, I know the answer. Oh, you do? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this is getting medical. I know the answer about the zombie digestive system. They excre <laughs> it's excreted out the pores like a snake. Sna snakes don't poop? I have no idea about that either. Oh, you made it up? <laughs> Oh, you saw, just because you saw the snake? Yeah. You think you're great because you've got glasses. 
You think you're smarter than me because you've got glasses? I wear glasses too sometimes. Is that why? It's because of the heels. Because you. Oh, the heels? <laughs> Let me see. Very good heels. Yeah, no, it's all working, whatever's they're going on. Big, here, yeah. well, they're, I have huge, giant feet. I was supposed to be like a, a supermodel and something went horribly. Like, you know, puppies have big paws. And then they become supermodels? <laughs> A kind of a dog, sure, but yeah, no, they become like a giant. What the? What are you doing? <laughs> they become they become larger dogs, and I never be grew. Have you got very big feet? Stick one of them up here. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> they're not that big. <laughs> they're not. They're not. Do you uh, do you water ski at all? <laughs> it's a joke. I, they forced. don't. They, they're they're not big. <laughs> they're not that big. It's one of those things people think get, in their, get ideas in their head about things in their body. For example, I think I'm a creepy grey-haired older man. That's not That's true. That's not true at all. <laughs> exactly, it would be but great if you just only well, that would be good if all the if all of the you know American or, or female uh, you know nervousness and, and feeling bad about your body was focused on like obscure extremities like your earlobes, like you only gain weight in your earlobes, or you only like everyone was always just feeling bad. <laughs> Because none of this is, this is fine. And then it was all like, oh, I have that, like, fat pinky I have to work out. <laughs> that would be good. Right? And that's what everyone was so stressed about. Working there out. Be, there would be no more women's magazines, though. That would be but, you know, maybe stress is stress, no matter what it was. So if society said you have to have thin pinkies, then right. everyone would be like, oh, I've got to go to the gym. Right. Like, yeah. Everyone would be drug addicts. Right. Everyone would be, like, <laughs> working their pinky. I know. Sorry. That's true. <laughs> Are you doing a dirty joke about working your pinky? No! No! Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it was in my head, sorry. I was, ah. I was doing it well. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't pure. It was, a, it was a drug addict joke about people and what they do with their pinkies. What? Isn't that like an 80s, like, an 80s, like, you know, like a thing where you do drugs off your pinky? Am I the first one to say that? <laughs> Me. <laughs> no, no, I thought you meant pinky. Yeah. <laughs> We're out of time. Do uh, you want a coconut? Uh, I, you don't have to have it now because it's a laxative I've found out. Oh, well, that's good news. Wait, what do, you, I, what do you do with the coconut? Uh, you can take it home and uh, draw a face on it or something if you want. You can send you... them in the US mail. <laughs> Those glasses are real, aren't they? <laughs> you could. You You're could, like, you'd send a coconut. You can just put a stamp on it. Well, you can? Really? Yeah, if you'd like, I can send you back the coconut. You know, why don't we send the coconut around the world like in that movie, Amelie? Okay. And we'll get the coconut. We'll draw a face on it. Or like the Expedia it. gnome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like the thing that isn't advertising. Uh, <laughs> I don't work for them. All right, let's draw a face on the coconut. All right. Little eyes here. There you go. Eyes. Aww. Yeah. And then we'll give it lipstick. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. There's, this is happening on TV right now. <laughs> hey, Craig, don't you have one you prepared earlier? No. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're the prop specialist as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, there might be a strike because I'm doing this actually. There you are. Coconut. So, <laughs> take that coconut with you, and then send us a picture for you. Can back to New York. Okay. Okay. Yeah, send yeah. it, and then we'll start posting the coconut around. It'll be like a thing. Like weird places. Yeah. All right. Okay. Swan Crossley, everybody. <laughs>